Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe, and let's get started, shall we? Welcome again to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. What I wanted to go through today is drop shipments and how to perform them in NAV. I'm gonna go through a simple example. Um, I am not. I'm going to go pretty fast over creating sales orders and purchase orders because I have those in other videos. Um, and for those who don't know what drop shipments are, basically, a, in NAV, drop shipment and mostly everywhere means that um, we put in a sales order and that's linked to a purchase order, and we want the vendor to ship directly the product to the customer, so it does not enter our warehouse. Um, so let me go ahead and create a sales order, a brand new sales order, and I am going to sell to the Canon Group, which is a favorite among people who demo NAV. I am selling the coffee mug again, hence the name of the videos. Um, I'm selling 25 and I'm getting $15 for each. And then if I go all the way to the end here, there is a field called Purchasing Code. Uh, this actually gives several options, one of them being Dropship. I will demonstrate others in other videos, so I'm focusing this time only on Dropship. Uh, so I'm going to select that. And now that's ready. So I'll close out this and I'll move on to the purchase order. Now if I'm the purchaser and I'm fulfilling a dropship order, there are a couple of ways I can do that in NAV. I'm only going to show the simple one, uh, which is from the purchase order itself in this video. I will focus on other ways in other videos. Um, so I'll go into the purchase order. There we go. And I'm going to create a new one. And this is going to be from Custom Metals Incorporated, which apparently does ceramic as well. Oh yeah, the coffee mug is ceramic, <laughs> if you were wondering. Okay, so uh, over here, yeah, instead of starting to type in an item, I actually want to get the item. So let me just delete this that I just created. And I want to get it from the dropship. But before I do that, what I need to do, and this is a little tricky, um, you have to say which customer you're selling to. And I was selling to the Canon Group. And if I then go up to the drop shipment and get sales order, I will see all of Canon Group's sales orders. Um, I'm going to select the one that I want, which is uh, 1008, the one I just created. Hit OK, and it will fetch the coffee mug in here, 25. And now you can see that the ship to is the Canon Group in Atlanta, uh, and that's the ship to on this purchase order to this vendor. So I'm going to just put in a invoice number, ABC something. And I'm going to go ahead and post this. Post this purchase order. It looks good. Post. And I'm going to receive an invoice. Receive an invoice. Oh. Yes, forgot about that. We have to receive first and then invoice. So we'll do that. We'll receive. And that is because when I receive, it automatically ships. Now let's take a look at that. So I'll close out this. I'll go to my sales order. Sales order is up here. 1008. 
and go look at quantity to ship that's zero quantity shipped 25 so that happened automatically as I received the purchase order and since that happens instantaneously as I'm receiving the purchase order the inventory does not stay in our warehouse technically it just went by our warehouse and if just to emphasize that point if I go to my items and go to the coffee mug here and I look at the entries I can see that there is a purchase receipt and a sales shipment that happened immediately on just that one posting it's all closed out basically the system looks at this as I received it and shipped it out through the blue warehouse but it happened instantaneously so everything is closed out properly uh, and that's how drop shipments work in a Navy.